Toronto police looking for the man who they believe shot and killed one person and injured a second at the same Toronto intersection less than 24 hours apart. In an update today, detectives now say they have located the car involved with the shootings and it was found right here in Hamilton. Emily Taylor joins us live in studio with these details. Emily, what do we know so far? Well, Taz, we know the two people shot. Police say they were innocent bystanders. They were attacked indiscriminately. Now, police wouldn't rule out that these shootings on Friday and Saturday aren't gang related, but they say the two victims have no connections to gangs. They also have no connection to each other or the suspected shooter. Police say a 16 year old boy was shot in the face around 6 p.m. on Friday while waiting for the bus. He's in hospital with potentially life altering injuries. Then Saturday afternoon, police believe these same suspect shot and killed 39 year old Adu Boachi at the same intersection. He came from Toronto or to Toronto from Ghana last November and has four children. Police have released security camera photos of the suspect who is described as a black man between the ages of 18 and 25. Officers located the vehicle involved, a stolen black Acura RDX in the area of Paramount Drive and Mud Street West on Hamilton's East Mountain. The victims were doing what anybody in the city were doing, enjoying their community. This offender and, and or offenders uh, took it upon themselves to, to carry out violence. And whether that violence could be gang related, uh, we're alive to that. And that is a possibility. I know it was alluded to by the inspector on the weekend. Uh, whether this, this has hallmarks of gang violence, it does. But all those things are going to come forward as we as we unpack this, as we investigate this more and investigate the vehicle and with the public's assistance, identify this suspect. Hamilton police say they're not involved in this investigation, but of course now there is a possibility the suspect could be in Hamilton. Toronto police are warning residents in the northwestern Toronto neighborhood to expect a larger police presence for the next couple of days as they continue to investigate. They are asking anyone with information to please contact them or Crime Stoppers. Taz?